Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial video on how to copy a connection using Advanced Steel 2019. So today I'm going to look at how we can copy a predefined connection already inserted into our building model. I'm going to use my tools tool palette and halfway down on the left hand side we have a joint copy command and this allows you to simply select the command and it asks you to select a connection part. Now the connection part will be any part of the connection, so it can be the anchor, it can be the bolt, it can be the plate, it can be the weld. It can also be, if we turn on my joint boxes, it can also be the joint box. So when I click joint copy, I select, in this instance, let's say I select the joint box, I right click and then it asks me to select the connection part, so I select another column. I confirm whether I've got a concrete object, in this case I click no and Advanced Steel will simply copy the exact same connection into a new location. I can also do this for the haunch, so again I go to Joint Copy, in this instance I'm going to select the haunch, right click, select my new location, so it's the column first, then the rafter, and that will simply copy the configuration of that connection, and I can repeat the same process and copy all these connections around my model. And that's for a single, so I'm just going to undo that slightly, take that back and take out this connection. Because to the right hand side of that, I've got a joint copy multiple tool. And this will allow me to copy one connection, but place it in multiple places throughout the building model. So to show this in action, I'm going to again select my base plate. I right click, and then it asks me to select the objects. So in this instance, I'm going to do a complete window around all the columns. So I've quickly selected all the columns. I then right click and it will place that copied instance everywhere on the model. If we take that a step further and get a little bit more complicated, so let's do it in a multiple selection mode. So when I select joint copy multiple, you need to look and confirm what the input method is for the joint that you're copying. In this instance where I select a haunch, the selection method is column first, then the rafter. So we need to respect that selection set when we go to copy multiple. So again, I select the haunch, and it asks me, select the source joint input one. In this case, it's going to be the columns. So I go one, two, three, and four, five, six, and then seven. I then right click and then I select the second selection set and the second input set is going to be the rafters. So I select each of the rafters so that's the seven rafters I then right click and it will copy that connection to the seven other locations in my building model. So if I have to repeat this process I've got a single sided end plate so I can use a joint copy multiple anywhere I want to place a single set of end plate. So it's joint copy multiple, select the bolt, then I choose my selection set. So it's going to be column, column, and column, then right click, then select the tie beam, tie beam, tie beam, tie beam, and then I right click, and it will copy that connection into them four locations. I also have a double sided end plate connection, so I select joint copy multiple, select my connection, then select my input. So for a sec single sided end plate, it's the columns first of all, so it's one, two, three, then I right click, and then it's the input method. So the input method is going to be the beams here, so it's one, two, three and then the second selection set is going to be this beam here and here and then right click and that will copy that connection to each of the individual columns I then have a joint copy that I want to use here so it's joint copy multiple here and then I copy it to rafter rafter and rafter and then tie beam, tie beam, tie beam. If we put an apex connection in, so I can select 
one and then two so that will apply an apex connection and just to quickly configure it take off the stiffeners both sides and just adjust the size of the haunch and then quickly adjust the bolt groups so again I put three in this bolt group now if we just quickly have a look so I want actually two in that bolt group and there are 75 spacing that then so once I add the haunch it can be joint copy multiple select the haunch and select the rafters on the left in one selection set right click then select the rafters on the right and then right click and the only one I need to finish with is a joint copy multiple on the double sided so it's rafters as my first selection set second selection set is my tie beams so it's going to be one two three and then the intermediates as the third and that will copy that selection set so by simply quickly going in and using a multiple of joint copy and joint copy multiple we can really quickly replicate the connections around the advanced steel model